Good morning, everybody. So, if you can't tell, I've got some uh, camera fuckery going on here with the camera set up on the bench and a tripod all woggled out. And, uh, turn my vent on. We're going to try and film some grindage, some finished grindage, actually. So, this will be a longer video. I just got in the shop, getting it all set up. Um, and basically, I'm going to be running this one through the grits. I started already. Uh, this is where I left off yesterday. The one side is not done at all. This side is like halfway done. So we're just going to run it through the grits. And hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here at this angle a little bit. Now, probably should have shown this before I set the camera up there. But the way I have my belt tracked, okay, is, and by tracking I mean the position that belt sits on the wheel to the left or to the right okay you probably can't tell but I have this belt track so it hangs just over the edge over here I can see a little black on my wheel right here about an eighth of an inch okay so I've got an eighth of an inch overhang and what that does is that's how you get really nice shoulders okay and blends everything feathers in real nice Okay, so you want to track your belt over. And I do it a little bit less tracking here and a little bit more here. And that's what gives it this nice, beautiful sweep in. You don't have any kind of shitty bumps here, okay? And that's what you want. I have no idea how that's picking up on camera, but I guess we'll find out later. So I'm gonna go ahead and start having at it. I've got two blades to do, so. We'll probably just run this one through. It'll probably take about, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. So I'm gonna pop my headphones in, fucking get in the groove, start grinding some shit. And you wanna go slow. You want this grinder to be no higher than 20. Okay? Put my gloves on, and I keep them taped up like this with fingers taped up just to save my fingers from the heat. Set up. We're gonna finish this thing out. But I'm just looking and seeing where my highs and lows are, where my deep scratches are. This is a 120. So we're gonna get out all of our 60 grit here. Going over it and over it and over it. Nice and slow. So you can see already, I got most of that cleared up. All right, the only thing that still remains is this little bit along the edge. And we're gonna do a little cheat to get that because we need more radius. So we're gonna tilt the blade and use just the corner of the wheel to get down in there myself a little bit more tracking. Adjust my light a little bit so I can see behind the blade. Now you look at that. No more little thing on the edge there. Okay? So I squeezed a little bit more height, meaning radius by tilting the blade and using just the corner of the wheel. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and make one more pass and call that done for this grip. Now we got that thing perfectly cleaned up. Now I'll do my swedge. Track my belt to even, flip my light, so I can see my angle, and I'm looking down behind the blade. Now I make one pass and I look at it. 
and I can see where I'm hitting and where I'm not. So now I know I've got to tilt it in a little bit so that I'm making full contact. That feels like it. That was it. I'll make a couple more passes just to make sure I got all my connections out. And that side's done for 120. Now it isn't always this fast. Remember, I started this yesterday. There we are. So it's just done for the 120. Now we're going to flip it over. We've got our belt track with our hangover on this side now. And we're going to do this back grind first, then our front, then our sled. So we're just going to run it through. Perfect. And I'm adjusting my angle, my pitch, everything on the fly as I go. Okay? Because how that wheel contacts the blade here is different how than it contacts there and different than the contacts there. So there's minute adjustments as you're going. Also, I've got the blade slightly tilted so that I'm minimizing my hit up here. Okay, you don't want to hit it too much. I can hit a little bit because you're going to take it out in a minute, but you don't want to be digging. Nice and slow. We're almost there. We've got a little bit right up top that we need to get out. So I'm going to adjust my pitch. That's it, right there. See that? Hopefully that's showing up on camera. I can't, I can't see. And now we're going to do our other grind here, our multi. Make a general pass. And make a general pass and you see where you're at. Where's your highs? Where's your lows? Where it needs to come out? Okay, that's important. Always check. Once you check, then you can start fine tuning your draw. Yeah, we're almost there already. are. That's pretty much it. I'm going to make one more pass on that corner with the blade tilted so that I get full contact top to bottom and I'm going to call that done for 120 degrees. Here, so that I can see in the light. 
where it's high, where it's low, and where it needs to come off. And that there is pretty good for the 120 grit. I've got a little bit of, I don't even know what you want to call that, squiggliness right here. I don't like that, but that I'll take out with my finer grit because I know that it's dead even across. Do our swedge. I'm going to call it done for 120. My head's probably right in the way. But Now we're going to move up to our higher grits. And that's basically it. Same exact process, but for the finer grit belt. Okay? So that's going to be that. I don't want to make this video too damn long. We got to. Now I got to pull this thing down without destroying everything. <laughs> 